<laughs> yeah, I'm the attendant. I'm the attendant. All right. No, it's good. Um, so, America's parking lot. Hi. <laughs> I'm Johnny Mars. I directed the film, and uh, these are the these are the stars. I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm Cy Dittmore. And I'm Tiger Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> I Stan, but nobody calls me Stan anymore. So. Somebody yeah. had a projector of my brain. I think I probably think about the Cowboys more than I think about my kids and my wife. You know what? I really would like to have your panties to hang for my trailer. That was the price to come to the party. What a great country we live in. Get you! We just said, hey, we're the Gate 6 tailgaters. The Gate 6 tailgaters! We even have our own koozies. The best damn tailgaters in the world! We got into South by Southwest. And the first thing Tiger said to me was, after, you know, a barrage of questions about how drunk he was in the footage, <laughs> and should he be worried at all, yeah. he, he was, and he, you know. It's a tailgate. It's a tailgate, you know, it's supposed to be What's like that. But uh, he, the, his, his main concern was, you know, he hoped Jerry didn't take his tickets, you know, he basically, Johnny, they're not going to take my tickets, are they? No. <laughs> and I think, you know, I don't know if everybody here got to see the movie, but I hope at the end of the day, if Jerry... If Jerry played his cards right, I think he would, you know, extend a hand to these individuals instead of, you know, maybe casting them out into the shadows, if you will. I mean, these are these are real fans. I think the team needs real fans. My first marriage broke up over the Cowboys, but this one gets it. Plates, bowls, yeah. cups, yeah. utensils, napkins. Yeah. Yeah. It truly is a fan. But just about everybody at the tailgate. It means a lot. This stadium means a lot. I mean, not so much for him. It's really changed for us because, yeah, we did. And I, I, you know, I came out feeling I wasn't very happy that first year and, and just the way. And it really wasn't so much that, you know, I, I thought we were treated unfairly by the Cowboys, just the situation. It was just, I mean, we'd been tailgating for 20, 25 years together every game. I and mean, these guys are my family. I spend more time with them during the football season than I do my own family. And, uh, you know, and they're like brothers to me. They really are. But, you know, and to be in two separate places, you know, and Cy would say, well, come on over to our place. But, you know, you have to part, and, you know, I'm trying to carry, you can't carry tents and all the stuff that we do. And so we just kind of, the first year we stayed apart. He'd come over sometimes on a, you know, that, uh, you know, the go-kart or golf cart over there and say hi, and I'd walk over there. And, but it wasn't, you know, and I'd do my little pep rally for like 20 people over there. And it wasn't the same. So we've, since then, we've now, it's now after completed three seasons, we're back together. Mm -hmm. With the help of him and some of his friends, they got us some lot four. We're now in lot four. Uh, so we're back over there together again. And, uh, you know, it's gotten better. I mean, year two was better and year three was better. <laughs> Are you doing that, Tony? Back yeah, together up. again. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was like, yeah, I, I can ramble people on. That didn't make yeah, the yeah, trend, yeah, didn't make the move, uh, for whatever reasons. You right. Know, uh, they have. They haven't been replaced, but we have their spots. That, you know, there's new people that's that's come in and, and kind of got squatters' rights to yeah. you know to join us. Yeah. And now they're just as close as you know. I mean, we, we did lose a few people in the in the yeah. transition. They just couldn't they priced them out, you know. Yeah, exactly. And I get that. I mean, and some people, you know, I've had a lot of people saying, "You guys are crazy." You know, I know him that you don't have that much money, Tiger. You're living in a barn. I'm like, I know, but you know, that's what I want to do with my money. I don't gamble. I don't go to Vegas. I don't do anything else. It's, I put whatever extra money I've got, and I use it on the Cowboys. And his wife shallow, knows I, about it, and, and she's cool with she, it. She, she's fine with it. Like, she, his passion's Cowboys, your passion's so making. Right. Your passion's Cowboys ain't cooking. And so, cooking. That's where you put your money. Yeah. yeah, and you put your money at. So. Imagine that house is probably about the same as it was. I have, <laughs> I have people that really, really complained about, obviously, the ticket. And it is a jolt. You know, when they sure. laid out the ticket prices to us, it's, oh, really? Yeah. And we had people, not necessarily anybody that came over, but I mean, that didn't make the move, but I had other friends that just ripped me. You're an idiot. Mm -hmm. You know, why in the world would you spend that kind of money? Well, I could spend, I mean, I couldn't, but there's a lot more money that is being spent by a lot more people. But the same guy goes out two weeks later and drops 40 grand on a freaking bass boat. <laughs> and I'm like, can't you buy a boat for 10? Well, yeah, but that's not what I want. Right. <laughs> okay, well, then get off my case. It's all about you know? choices. You yeah, know? it's priorities. I choose you know? to drive a 1999 GMC pickup that's got 200,000 miles on it. I mean, I could take the money I spent on my cowboy tickets, probably have a nicer vehicle, but that's 
vehicles aren't important to me. Yeah. Football. I actually build my house. You, know. yeah. you answer, Don. You can answer. Well, this. for me, I don't think it's about sports. I mean, I, I don't know that the movie's honestly about sports. Um, you know, early on, I felt like it was about identity and how that can be used against you on some level in anything. Uh, but, you know, after spending the last year editing the film, I feel like it's actually more about family and however you want to define family and whatever that means to you. Um, and, you know, in a lot of ways, I don't know. I, I don't think the movie's about sports, but I like sports and I think sports are important and I think sports can give you a pass to talk about things mm -hmm. that uh, maybe let you reach out to a broader audience on some level. Um, it's a vehicle cool for human condition. Yeah, you know, on a lot of levels, and I think, you know, growing up in America, sports are pushed on you as a child, and everybody can hopefully relate to that experience, even if it's a horrible gym incident, you know, it's something, you know. Don't lay down on the couch over here, we're not going to handle it. That was the third grade, big class for dog. But, you know, and I say this a lot, you know, uh, I see a lot of myself in these guys also, like, I... You know, I don't put all my, and you said this earlier, you know, I don't put all of my time and energy into a franchise, mm -hmm. but I, I put all my time and energy into making films, and I pour a lot of money and, and, and time into it, and it's statistically never going to pay back. These guys aren't going to see a monetary return from what they do, but it gives back to them in an emotional way, you know, and it makes, there's a reason they do it, and, and I think that, you know, for me, that's interesting. Outside of how honest these guys are, um, which I think kind of scares some people, but you know, um, they're brutally honest about what they want to do with their lives and their money. And you know, this is only one aspect of them too. I mean,